welcome back to the happy heart I am so glad that you guys came over to see this fall decor tour I just really wanted to show you all the little touches that I put in my house and usually I just kind of go around and put little touches here and there and they're just things that I've gotten over the years I usually go more of a traditional style but that's just me and I'm kind of more of a traditional person these little tea lights my mom actually sent me and I want to say she got them from either the dollar store or the 99 cent store and I thought they were so cool and I really liked that they were glass and I could put them anywhere and she also sent me this pumpkin that is right over by that little cross and I think that just kind of gives it a little touches here and there and not too much this little pumpkin I really liked and that's why I put it um, kind of more out in the open because I liked the contrast of colors and I liked that yellow color that came across. This was probably my favorite. These are actually two placemats that are underneath that wooden basket that I keep out all the time. And uh, the candy corns around the candle, I do that every year. The pumpkin basket is something that my mom gave me years ago and I always put out, I always put candy in it and this year Ryan was excited we put um, Kit Kats in it. And I also put another one of those tea lights in there. But I think that it just gives a lot of color and dimension to a coffee table because my coffee table is kind of dark. So I really liked that. These pumpkins my mom actually got me as well but I love how skinny they are. They can literally fit anywhere and I put um, these two right here because I like that they were lighter and since my tables are so dark I wanted to bring that light contrast in. This is something I picked up at Big Lots and then this is something I have this basket and there is pumpkins in there and um, you can't see them and I really tried hard to make it nice but that is as far as it got this year. These are some pumpkins I got from Joann's years ago, but I really like them. They're wooden, and I just think they're so pretty, and they were probably my most favorite. That's why I put them up on the mantle, and I wanted to have kind of different heights, so that's why I put one on that candle because I didn't have any candlesticks, but this is kind of how my heart turned out, I guess you could say, and I really like it. My front door here, um, is very white but I wanted to add a little bit pop of color with these little bells and I always have different bells for every occasion. Um, my family makes fun of me but I love them. Um, this is probably one of my favorites though and I got that years ago. This banner is so fun and um, this is in my dining room but I just love it. It was something I picked up at a craft fair years ago and um, this little autumn greetings pumpkin my mom sent me. But I really wanted to put that up because it says thankful. And this is just another view of my dining room. And those placemats I've had probably for 10 years. This little pumpkin um, I thought was so cute and I got it from Walmart. And all the filling that's inside that cake plate is actually from Walmart as well. And there's small ones and there's larger size fillings in there. And my mom sent me littler ones and I actually got bigger ones and it was just perfect. It was just the right amount and it all worked out. And I really like the way that turned out. That was probably one of my favorites and it just kind of came together. But these leaf placemats are the exact same ones that are on the coffee table and I really liked how they um, just kind of add that color and dimension to your table. If you had um, really cute chargers to put over them or something, maybe really cute as well, but we use our table a lot. So this is just another view where you can see there's pine cones and um, little gourds and different things in there. And I love all those traditional fall colors on my dining room. And I know that most everybody's going to these white and green colors, but I just really like the traditional style of it. So in my kitchen, even though I do a lot of white and steel um, during the year, I still want to add the pops of color to give it kind of that uh, 
fall look. My mom sent me this candle and I think it was from like the dollar store, but I thought it was really pretty for a dollar store candle. So I put it right on my oven and I tried to just put some little things here and there just to kind of give pops of color. This mom actually came from Walmart and I loved the yellow bucket that it came in and it was only like $5. And I thought that was just be perfect in the kitchen. This little pumpkin was actually my grandmother's and she used to put it out when I was a little kid so I remember this and I put this out every year and I put it up by my sink so it would not get broken or messed with or anything like that. And this little sign is from the Dollar General. I got it probably the year I got married, so about 12, 13 years ago now. But I always put it out somewhere in my house. And I usually just add candles and a little little pumpkins here and there to kind of get it in the, the fall spirit. This is actually a pumpkin from that other set. It's a thin pumpkin, as you can see. And I just wanted to add a little something in my guest bathroom so when guests came over, they would know that um, I did not forget that room. And there was just some little fall decor in there as well. And I really like the pumpkins that are thin like that so then you can um, kind of place them anywhere and they don't really get in the way. Thank you guys so much for coming over and checking out my house and my fall decor. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.